Hello, Hello our friends. friends. Welcome, Welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. I'm going in full force with the first one because this is probably my biggest tip for someone that has a small apartment and that is to elevate your bed. I was in college, I learned that I got bed risers under my bed. I was able to store so much under your bed. Your bed is an area where you can literally put whatever junk you want under there and nobody's going to see it, especially if you have like either a bed skirt or just a really long duvet that covers it. But the reason for this is that you can put either bed risers or just get a bed that is elevated. I personally have a platform bed, so my bed kind of just goes up like this and then back down and also keep in mind that if you don't have something like that you can get bed risers which give you an instant like eight inches of additional space under your bed this is a great space for storing anything like suitcases luggage and keep in mind if you do store suitcases under your bed you can also put more junk in them like, throw it in a suitcase and put it under your bed because no one knows where to put a suitcase in a small apartment the under bed space is very very key when you have a small space get it off the floor and organize underneath now what we want to do is build upwards and what does that mean exactly that is to use your vertical space to your advantage so as you can see behind me i have a really large gallery wall this isn't very a uh, key for every single small apartment but i do have space for a gallery wall in my personal apartment first what that does is when you walk into someone's space instantly it draws your eye from the floor to the ceiling because there's a lot of stuff to look at and it makes your apartment just appear a lot bigger in my own bedroom i actually have a full ikea shelving system in front of my bed and i use this space to my advantage to store a lot of my decorative accessories and a lot of stuff now mine exactly isn't super super organized or clean kind of have a lot more stuff than the typical person would that's living in their space because I don't have a storage room or an office to put all of these additional items in so I like to keep these for styling purposes but building upwards definitely maximizes the amount that you can put on your walls you can have organizational systems on your walls wall shelves to hold additional things like books decor knickknacks bits and bobs whatever you want to put on those think about how you can use the space above your TV what can you put up there what can you use the space above the door for what can you use the space above your kitchen cabinets for there's lots of room for using the space upwards that you might not think about you're out purchasing furniture if you do have furniture try to think about getting more lighter toned furniture as opposed to darker furniture because what that does in the space is it instantly brightens it up and actually bounces color and reflects it off of the furniture pieces that are brighter from the actual daylight and then it kind of bounces off the wall and it gives you a whole little bright environment my first apartment with my roommate we really wanted to maximize the seating area because we always had people over but it was also very dark so we actually got three white leather couches which at the time were not the cutest but on a college budget you know those were okay and they actually added a little bit more life to the apartment and the space because when you do have darker furniture it tends to sort of absorb light and make your space look a little bit more dreary and drab if you do not have a lot of natural light to start with when you're in need for a new couch think about getting a lighter color as opposed to a darker one if you are in a smaller space situation this fourth one kind of goes back to the last one about reflecting light and that is just to put mirrors in your space mirrors are amazing having reflective elements definitely give a lot more light to your space as well mirrors bounce back light everywhere so when you do have a lot of them in a smaller space you get a little bit more of a brighter environment and i personally just think mirrors open up a space so much more and they make it appear a lot bigger i don't know if you guys have walked into like a restaurant before or a store before where that whole back wall is mirrors and you're like wow this store is humongous and then you end up walking to the mirror and you're like wow this is actually just a mirror i've done that so many times and you can do that with your space as well so having a really really large like ikea floor mirror on one wall even just a wall mirror is great to have on the wall so a circular wall mirror i think that adds a nice little kind of round element to a space Halfway through at number five, we are talking about keeping your space alive. This is one that not all of us are great at because I personally do not have a green thumb. I actually did keep a fiddle leaf fig alive for two years, which I do applaud myself on. I don't have a green thumb, so I do actually have quite a few faux plants, hence this one right here. Plants are your best friend. I think they can definitely just liven up a space instantly. You can see the most dreary little like small living room in the world, but if they have a whole ton of plants in there and you can have as many plants as you want in your apartment. I just find plants to have a very pleasing effect on myself and I know a lot of you guys love plants as well and I think in a smaller space whether it be your bedroom your bathroom bathrooms are a great place for plants and there are a lot of indoor plants that actually don't need to survive with a lot of light so you can look into those Clutter is not your best friend if you live in a smaller environment because what this does is just gonna make your space feel jam-packed. I feel like we can all definitely kind of sense this. If you have a cluttered space, if your coffee table's all completely cluttered, if your console's cluttered, if your desktop table, whatever it might be that you have in your small space, your bed, 
people clutter everything these days, you know, it just happens. I can say that I have done this before as well. I definitely learned to kind of start putting my things away as I go and trying to conceal them and just keep things off the top of surfaces as opposed to just like really cluttering my desk. I used to do that all the time and have literally everything in the world on top of there, including mail, bills, tax information, um, pencils, pins, staplers, all that form of stuff. Now it's all in drawers and I try to conceal it and just keep my desktop nice and clean. And so try to keep things a little less cluttered, put things away, store them in boxes, baskets, wherever you can put them, organization systems. Um,